G'day, he's all going. This is Ian Harris from Australia here. Today we're going to do another acrylic painting and I'm going to touch on a popular subject today, while well, I get kitted up, is Pokemon. Everyone's familiar with Pokemon. So I've printed out my reference picture and this one we're going to do it in the carbon paper style. So I'll just get kitted up here and I've already, if you have a look down at my palette now, come down here. I've already got some colours mixed. So in this one here, this is the colours I'm going to use on the actual picture, right? So I'm only going by the way they turned out on the picture. So in here, we've got purple and white. In this one here, I've got the purple and white mixed with some pink that I've mixed up. The pink is just red and white. And this blue that I'm trying to match the clouds in over here, I've just used the, a normal prime blue with some white. And for when I do his body, that's going to be last. But I'm going to mix up some purple, white, and my already pre-mixed dark grey. We've got our okay. canvas here, which is a 500 by 400. And for those of you in America, we use metric over here. So 500 is 20 inches, and 400 is about 16 inches. Okay. So there's our canvas we're going to use. I've already got the printout taped on there. So now we're going to go over to my bench and put our carbon paper on there so we can print out the layout of okay. this. Okay, we've got our print and for the size of this, I'm going to use roughly three A4 size carbon papers. So we'll get our carbon paper and we'll lay it on the canvas. Now this canvas has already been painted and allowed to dry. Doesn't matter if they overlap, that's fine, 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 fine. And like I said before, we're gonna be putting this page backwards and forwards. So at the moment, I'm only gonna paint the, mark out the background in this. Get our, I'm using a red pen. It doesn't have to be exact, it's just giving you a vicinity of where the clouds are, okay? Okay, now we'll pull that one off. Now a bit of paper to remove these. They'll come in use later. Now if you have a look, you can see the outline of the, the clouds that I've done. Alrighty, we're going to start with this darker colour of the sky there. I don't know if you can see it on here. So over here, as you can see, I've laid out the cloud line here. So we'll get this colour and we'll just start. Well, I better put this down first so we don't get any hiccups. Okay, now this has got retarda in it. I better wet that first because it's very, very dry. Okay, so we'll get this on there. All right, we're just about finished this dark layer of depth behind the sky here. I'll just finish this off. This I want to feather out this bit because in the picture, I can see that this is feathered into the, the blue. Okay, now what we're going to do next, we've put this dark in. We're going to put all this other color blues into there. Then we can do this white rim and then the end of the cloud, which is this forefront. Okay, so we've got our lighter color blue here that's on the palette and it's pretty much one lightness but where there's lightness again i'll just add a bit of white and so we'll just get this in there and it doesn't just matter keeping off the edge of me line did i wet my canvas Let's get him on there. Yeah, I love it. Look at that. I love painting when you can really get it on there and you're not mucking around with it, eh? See, the bigger brush, if you've got a bit of confidence in what you're doing, the bigger brush can just cut a lot of corners and referencing so you've got that position of a cloud or something there. Now we'll get a dry brush, just a dry one, and I'll sort of lead this where it might need to can you come in closer there can you see how i've transitioned this edge now it's not yucky poo like that get the tip of the brush 
work it, work it and work it. You'll feel your way through it. It's just giving it a more artistic look. When you do it yourself, you'll feel anyone can do this. Can you see that? See from that to that, it just looks a lot more fang dangly. That's the word I'm looking for. I might even come in here a bit if I want just to and the filbert brush, you can just tap it on like that. That'll do for that one. Pretty much over here. Needs a bit more. I want anyone that hasn't painted to be able to say, I can do that. And that's what it's all about. I just give these clouds some like I do my misty bits in the moon. Just something like that. I'll do this bit first, so we'll... Now we'll blend this into a smoky mist, just so it's given these blue clouds some glare. If that's, that's my ob object. Like that, and then... Same with this one. Just put a bit more of a glare there. We'll glare him out into silky softness. Just so long as it's a bit lighter than that other bit. I'm happy with that. Yeah. All right, I've dried that. Oh, look what I just did, I just messed that up. That's all right, it's gone now. So we're going to get this rim around the clouds. So I've dried that so it's not going to bleed into my white paint. And we're just going to sort of make these lumpy, mushroomy, whatever you want to call it, shapes with our little filbert brush, okay? So we'll virtually go all around here, just getting that grade five stuff, really, when you think of it, isn't it, eh? Just so as we can bleed it up into there and get it there. So we want that, wipe the brush, and see that, I'm gonna soften that. Okay. Okay, now we'll go back to the thicker white, and then we can, and you'll see, how that's produced that bit of mist behind there or whatever you want to call it. I'm going to use my filbert brush because it's got that, as you all know, it has a round head on it. Now if you come over here, we're going to just keep that ring of white. So we want to keep the edge of it sharp, twist the edge of it if you have to, just to, you do not want the edge like getting feathered like this. The more pride you can put into these little strokes here, just like so. I'll just do this bit here so you get an idea. All this is gonna be blue. Get the edge, roll the brush onto it. Just like so, come around there a bit. Some bits can be thicker and thinner. Then once you've done this, hang on, we'll get up here. It's important to get these edges sharp. All right, we've finished the edge. I'm getting a bigger brush now and filling in all the rest of the blue. Twist it into those grains on the canvas. And then you can brush them out. And you can obviously see why we've used a smaller filbert brush to get those edges in, because there's no way you can get that done with these. Over here, mine isn't blended, because I'm just teaching you. But you can blend this if you want, just to give it some more realism. Okay, for you non-beginners, I've just blended some of these clouds, gave them more details. Any beginners, you don't need to go to this extent. We're gonna put those balls in. Okay, so we'll place our carbon paper down 
and these we're just going to carbon out the location of these balls. Okay. We'll get this. Right, I want to. I want to get that on there in that area. But for the edge, I'm going to wipe the brush and just to get this feathered edge, I want to, well see it's still a bit wet, see, I'll wipe the hell out of that a bit more and I want to blur this edge of pink. Are you picking that up? Okay, now I'm going to get the pink a bit more darker now. We've got our feathered edge there. So I'm going to come from the middle, come out like so, and hopefully the edge will get feathery, which is what I want. I've got to pick up this big clunky bits, just get rid of it off the brush, get the edge of this feathery. We've kept our circle reasonably round, and you make sure you breathe when you paint. I suppose it's allowing it to blend better when it's wet and when it's dry I'll probably intensify the the middle of it yeah I'll, I'll blend this out like so I find rim around here which is about that far into the circle Like so. Really soft. Don't put too much pressure on it or you'll dig the paint from underneath. Now we just intensified the middle with white and I'm bleeding that into the pink, blending it into the pink lightly as you go. Alright, our next colour is on this rim. Is the dark purple. We've got to leave just the tiniest bit of white on the edge of this rim. So we're going to go around. My cameraman's gone to the toilet so I'm holding the camera while he's busy giving birth. So we've painted that into the dark. And I'm going to start in the very middle. I'm not worried about the intensity of the middle yet. I'll just get it there. And then slowly come out. About that big. Okay. Then I'll wipe the brush. So I'm just wiping it like that on the canvas table cover. And then we'll um, blend this out into the purple trying to keep it the right diameter action all right now we're finished here if you come and have a look from there can you see this we are going to get these little lightning pieces in there and then we're ready for the figures okay so come down here I've got me good white I've got me number two liner now you want this pretty watery for all you people that aren't too familiar with it. Get it nice and wet and twist it as you go. Okay, now I'm going to put this up there just to give me a reference of where these lines should go. They don't have to be exact, but I just want to twist the brush as I go. Twisting it. <laughs> Stay on there. And I've noticed these lines are going f out and from behind the ball. So I'm just doing them like that because obviously in the show or the series, that's the way it is. Okay, 
okay, we've brought it back to my bench so we can lay out some carbon paper on it. Now I'm going to put a piece of carbon paper just on one side and we'll do the little moo character first. You don't have to do them both at once. And we'll take this out. I'll do them freehand. And let's stay there. I'll start with his tail. I'm going to twist it as I go. I'll just get the outline of it there. I'll start with the edge. Get the edge looking great. I've painted it all in white now, so what I want to do is just put the carbon paper back. I've painted it in white and I've dried it. I'm going to put this back again. And if you look at the canvas here, you can see we're only going to do the inside lines now. That's pretty much it. Now we'll pull the carbon paper off again. And you should see those lines in our primate surface, which you can see. This is the tedious part of this because these little characters. Yeah, so all of that's shadowed in. Then once I've got all this shadow the way I want it, where I want it, we will fix up the white. And this character is then done. So this is Moo. Moo is the he is the kind one. Well, he's the one that they cloned from to create Moo to. Just like colouring it in a bit. We'll go around the eyes. His head from everywhere. So that's what we're going to do. Then that character's finished. Alright, now I'm going to put the outline image of Mutu on there. So we'll get our carbon paper on. Just the outline, because this has all got to be primed in white. And then we'll be able to see. All these inlines here will come back and put all those in. All right, we're just about finished filling in all the outside lines with this white paint, using it as a primer. Then that would allow me, once it's dried, to put the print back over it and get all the inside lines, like we did with little moo over there let's get into it some more eh all right let's get the carbon over this it's been dried the carbon is going on to white which makes it very easy to see Where's our inlines? Here we go, here we go. All right, done the rest of those lines. Let's have a look here at this last character. Okay. okay, we'll start with all these. I'm going to just start with these dark colors. Mixed Be before I, I don't want to touch his eye. I'll get it.
just adding the darkest shades now to his shape. And then after this darker tone, like I said, we will just add the white highlights and detail the eye and it's pretty much done. Just highlighting the white areas now so as we can finish it off. She's finished anyway, that's all it's gonna need doing. putting the cherry on top of the cake. Okay, this is finished. Just finish this little bit of highlight on the back of his leggy. Blend that into there. All right, I'm going to sign this somewhere down here in the bottom corner. Alrighty, that's the painting finished. I hope you liked it, and let's have a look at that. Something you can follow along and paint for, you don't have to put that much detail if you're just a beginner. Subscribe and enjoy watching my show, Lots of Art Action, with Ian Harris. Goodbye, good luck, and good on ya.